Shut up and sit down. Good morning. This is Alexis with Financial Phoenix, and I am here to do a stockpile tour with you this morning. Um, it is early and it is already so hot. Uh, so I don't know if it's hot where you are, but it is hot here. So, uh, also we're in my garage because that is where we have our stockpile housed. So I apologize in advance if the sound is not up to quality, but we are outside with the garage door open because it is too hot to have it closed. Okay. We're going to start out at the top. Uh, and I apologize. I'm kind of short. So this is, uh, <laughs> going to be a challenge for me, but up here at the top, We've I've started with some paper products uh, and it's kind of gotten a little disorganized in the past few weeks because we've been adding more. I'll zoom out here. We only have two shelves, two large shelves like that. <laughs> so we kind of got to fit everything onto just those two. I have been in the process of looking for more shelves. Um, this is something that I'm trying to do on the cheap by either seeing if anyone locally are getting rid of any or uh, just trying to barter with people, giving them something in exchange for, sell for shelves. That's something that you can always try to do if you're needing something specific. Um, so I really just don't want to spend the money to house more of my stuff. So we're trying that. But so far, not working. So we might have to actually bite the bullet and just uh, get some shelves. But anyway, so that's... Let's start with the top row up here. There's some paper products on the end because this top shelf was supposed to be all paper products. So you see the Cottonelles up there. That's from the Dollar General clearance sale whew, a, a while back. Um, we've got some tissues. Some of those are Kirkland from Costco and some of those are Coupon from uh different sources and then we've got the Cottonelle wipes. I love the wipes. I know some people are not about the flushable wipes, but that's, I, I love them. Um, we've got the, I'm going <laughs> to try and show you category by category. So down here we also have some of the paper towels and we had like four packs of these Kirkland toilet paper, the bath tissue, but we are down to one pack now, but that lasted us probably six months a big pack of costco toilet paper so um not everything on these shelves is coupon some of it is just value savings from places like costco but a lot of it is coupon items so let's go back up here uh this mustard was a penny item recently i think on the last one or two penny lists at Dollar General. If you don't know about the penny list yet, um, I will link you to somebody who can talk about penny lists. It's not really my area of expertise, but there is somebody uh, named Krista Coupons who can help you with that. By the way, if you like stockpile videos, you definitely need to check out a couple of people. Uh, their stockpiles are bigger than mine for sure but uh, you'll, you'll have a really good time watching them. They're doing really good work, so definitely check them out. Um, if you haven't already, check out Ohio Valley Couponer. He does awesome Kroger deals, I can't even believe it. Um, some Walmart freebies as well, uh, and he's posting all the time, so definitely check him out. There's gonna be a link in the description below for all these people. Sorry, that's my cat in the background. Um, definitely also check out Kelsey B Saves. Um, I know that some of you really like HEB. We don't have any of those here in Ohio, but she does HEB deals and Ibotta deals. So you definitely want to check her out as well. And lastly, definitely check out uh, Mama Big Coupons. She does an awesome job with Ibotta and she has really good tutorials that take you step by step through the process, everything you have to do. Um, she's a newbie just like me, so show her some love, definitely. Uh, we're kind of the new kids on the block, so uh, definitely check her out. But let's get back to the stockpile. So our peanut butter is up there. We try to keep our food stuff up high to avoid critters. So uh, we try to get in on every good cereal deal. Our kids are really big about cereal in the morning. So we try to stock up, got some Reese Puffs. Uh, generally when they do a good General Mil Mills deal, we try to stock up on that. Um, and then I've got this thing up here, which is really kind of like my odds and ends basket let's look in here actually we'll put it down on the table over here so like the renews it's the air fresheners um 
toothbrushes that are kind of oddly shaped. Got the Febreze plugins. Um, just random little stuff that is kind of um, oddly shaped and doesn't really go in another category. So this shelf is one of my favorites, and I love this. Um, these are our makeup baskets that we we do a lot of couponing at CVS, and uh, so we get a lot of makeup. See, this is the lips basket. All that's CoverGirl. Uh, there was a big sale on getting rid of some old makeup at Walmart, so we got a lot of that for super cheap. We actually, and I don't know if you know this, at Walmart you can combine coupons with uh, clearance sales, clearance items. So these, a lot of these lipsticks, a lot of these eye products were already super cheap. And then we put the CoverGirl, typical CoverGirl $2 off coupons on those and got a lot of those for basically free. So we'll look in here. Um, yeah, we got some Milani, some CoverGirl. Some physician's formula, all kinds of stuff. Um, I know this guy was a uh, Dollar General penny item as well, the BB cream. That's what I call it. Um, so yeah, I don't know. That's the face basket, I think. I think I said that was the eye basket in there. Um, we just did this one the other day, the bronzer. So this is the eye basket. We've got some... Mascara, some eyeshadow, a couple things of uh, eyeliner, and of course the, the brow pencils, the infamous brow pencils for CoverGirl. Um, so here we've got just some hamburger helper, some cheeseburger helper back there. Um, this over here is kind of an overstock section. We stuck those up here because my body wash shelf is getting a little bit full. So, uh, but then we've got the Downy Wrinkle Releaser Plus back there. Those are kind of tall, really big, but um, I love this product and I love getting it for free. It's an awesome Ibotta thing to add. So that's really good. Let's look down here. This is kind of my first aid basket. Um, these were clearance items from Walgreens. Some Walgreens stuff. You can't do, go wrong with the Aleve back pain and muscle. This is usually $4, $4.25, something like that. And we usually get a high value, like $3 off coupon. So this is always good to add to your transactions at DG or even CVS. Um, some hot and cold packs. You know, this is just all extra first aid that we don't keep in the house. Um, these were a penny item a while back. These uh, Mr. Cleans multi-surface cleaner. And we resell them a little bit. Sometimes we add them to bundles. Sometimes uh, we just sell them at the garage sale for a dollar piece or something. But um, So this shelf right here is kind of not stuff that we wouldn't use we would we we try not to be brand picky but this is stuff that we would prefer to sell since we are resellers before uh we would use it ourselves so i'm not really crazy about the pantene um this l'oreal lv is a good good seller um some men's stuff that we put in men's baskets men's vaseline men's suave some right guard things like that so this is just a random shelf assortment of stuff that I would take a picture of and maybe put on Facebook Marketplace and say, you know, does anyone want to bundle this, you know, these couple of items for, you know, what X amount of money. So this is more our exciting shelf of stuff that we would use. Um, although I don't know why this is over here. These actually are 100% vegan. So if you're a reseller, this is a really good item to resell. I think we looked it up on eBay and I think these were going for a lot per bottle. So I'm gonna actually move these over to this shelf because we are gonna wanna get rid of those. Um, and this is just our bath products shelf. Uh, we've got some deodorants back here for my husband, some for me. Um, the spray deodorant, I love the sprays, so I keep all the sprays for myself. Um, 
we stock up on the Johnsons because we usually have high value coupons for that and our kids are not babies anymore but body wash is body wash so you can see I love the soft soap the soft soap is my jam so I've got a lot of that back there um, I love the Dove products for him he really likes them uh, we've got some of the Irish Spring, although we're running a little low on Irish Spring. Uh, we've got the Tresemme back here. Tresemme, some of the Herbal Essences Bio Renew. Um, so all that shampoo, conditioner type things. Okay, so we're going to go down here to my cleaning products shelf. Um, we usually get coupons for the uh, Clorox Sentiva at Dollar General. Um, those end up being a really good buy. We've got some Swiffer uh, dusters hiding back there. Some more Penny Mr. Clean. Uh, soft soap. We've got all the hand soap we could ever want. We've got Dawn, Gain, Palmolive. We got the big guy of Palmolive because we had a coupon for that a couple weeks back. And if you're a couponer, don't ever pay for razors again. Seriously, there are so many deals for razors. It's just, it's, they're always a ridiculous buy. So we've got the women's big razors back here. We've got the men's Gillette. Just don't buy razors. And don't buy toothpaste either. Um, let's see, down here we've got Crest, Colgate Optic Light, the Colgate Clean Mint. Got our lady pads back there. Some hair dye for men, some Clairol some summer's eve so personal care products on this shelf um i keep my face and hair masks in here because i love them and as you can see on the bottom here um we've got some more cleaning products i keep my scrubbing bubbles near the back some more mr clean we really we really made out on those penny items <laughs> i'm still trying to unload some of it um those dish detergent uh or not dish detergent what am i thinking um Disposal cleaners. Those are a good Ibotta item to get that total up. So those those disposal cleaners right there. And then the Swiffer um, wet cloths for the Swiffer mop, which are really nice to have around the house. I wish we had more. I'm hoping for another coupon for those soon. We got the Arm & Hammer pods back there. You see my Cascade pods down there on the end. I kind of keep those separated kind of hidden back down there because we often have people come in through the garage looking for things to buy and um, we don't often get good coupons for dish detergent for dish pods so I uh, kind of keep those back there because that's all I've got is those two so I'm trying to stock up on that for sure and then over here the last little shelf down here is all of the detergent and laundry supplies um, we, it's actually looking a little unfull right now, because, but we've got the crystals, we've got the unstoppables, um, I don't know if you can see in the back here, that big jug in the back, that is the Kirkland, um, laundry softener, and that is a ridiculous amount, I haven't even gotten into that yet, um, so that's from Costco, but we've got the Tide Simply Pods, we've got the Gain, we've got the All, the Bounce, um, so we have couple tied missing from there but that is most of the stockpile as you can see okay so please don't judge us this is <laughs> our garage as you can see it is a huge mess um, I'd like to say it's just because we're resellers and we do a lot of work out here but it's just so messy so I apologize but I want you guys to get the real truth this is the real picture so this is kind of my uh, reselling like station to sort through stuff um you know we've got all kinds of like we sold these baby bars for a while these were really popular we've got fix a dent over here um you know so this is just all resale type items um and little crafty things that i'm working on as you can see so this is after about four or five months of couponing so not even half a year and it's not a lot, you know, compared to other stockpiles that I've seen, uh, compared to what I've seen other people do. But keep in mind that this is four or five months. This is what you can amass, you know, when you do this consistently. And we go do maybe two to four transactions in a typical week. So we go to Dollar General and do two 
go to CVS and do two. Occasionally we'll go to Kroger or Walmart and score some freebies. So that's what has come out of all of that. So you can do that in three or four months yourself. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, that's my stockpile. I hope yours is growing and getting just as big as mine. Definitely hit the subscribe button to see more videos from us on couponing and reselling. And make sure you check out the description box to see all those awesome other YouTubers I told you about. So we'll catch you in the next one. Shut up and sit down.